President Donald Trump and Melania Trump landed in Tel Aviv, Israel on Monday as the second leg on their first whirlwind trip overseas. As the first couple stepped off of Air Force One and onto the red carpet they were greeted by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife Sarah in a reception that paled in comparison to the pomp and circumstance that the Trumps received two days earlier in Saudi Arabia. The welcome seemed warm between both couples who have built on their friendship recently, with Sarah going as far as to offer her fellow First Lady a bit of advice about ignoring the biased media. The plans for the trip to Israel weren't made immediately clear, however, meetings were expected. When Melania suddenly took off to an area hospital from the tarmac, it came as quite a surprise and now we know why. Mrs. Trump was escorted to Jerusalem's Hadassah Medical Organization before making it to any official meetings at her husband's side, not long after landing at just after 12 p.m. local time. There was little to no coverage of this sudden hospital trip until now, hours after she arrived there. ABC News reports, U.S. First Lady Melania Trump on Monday visited a leading Israeli hospital that is also known as a center of coexistence between Arabs and Jews. Mrs. Trump was in Jerusalem with President Donald Trump, who is on a two-day visit to Israel and the Palestinian territories. The First Lady visited Jerusalem's Hadassah Medical Organization as a guest of Sarah Netanyahu, the wife of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The women met with a group of young Jewish and Arab patients, some in hospital pajamas, who sat around a table and presented their guests with pictures they had drawn. Children milled about with one swinging on an adjacent swing as the two women exchanged pleasantries with the children. With the genuine interest in sick kids that America and the world have come to know, love, and respect about our First Lady, Melania spoke endearingly to each child. Hi, how are you? Melania asked one of the sick kids. What are you doing here? Are you making a project, she added, before turning her attention to another child who happened to be holding a Mickey Mouse balloon. I like your Mickey Mouse she said to the boy, ABC News reported, then handed him and the other kids each a special backpack compliments of the White House. Each backpack contained several puzzles, games, and toys to keep these kids busy as they endure long days of treatment and isolation. What's of particular note about this hospital is that it's one of the only real safe spaces in the area where both Arabs and Jews can coexist peacefully. Perhaps the reality of dealing with something bigger than your ideological differences life and death illness makes this possible for parents whose kids don't know to hate and just want to heal. Hadassah's Ein Karim campus is considered a rare model of coexistence in deeply divided Jerusalem, with a mixed Jewish Arab medical team working together to treat the city's wounded and infirm. Even during waves of violence, the hospital prides itself in treating both Palestinian attackers and Jewish victims alike, ABC News report explained. Melania has made children her number one priority in her role as First Lady as well as other special patients such as heroes being treated at Walter Reed for their serious injuries received while fighting for our country. She has visited a number of hospitals and spent genuine time with patients there, never in a hurry to get to other pressing matters within the presidency. She is compassionate and caring to strangers with a real level of concern that hasn't been seen in years. Melania is not trying to make an impression on anyone but the patients who she prioritizes over irrelevant people's opinions of her. Proof of that is that she doesn't often bring an entourage to document her hospital visits and stays nearly all day. Even when she's on a trip like this one to the Middle East, she makes a point to visit those who get the least attention but deserve it the most. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.